Hello, welcome back to our channel. We saw the 27th orca pod just yesterday, actually just <laughs> last night, and we're actually standing here overlooking a humpback whale, yeah. which is pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, we were just around the corner a minute ago where we saw the 27s last week, and Charlotte noticed a blow and she thought, hang on a minute, the 27s <laughs> are back. But yeah, then we saw this huge tail flute come up, and it was indeed a humpback whale. Humpback whale, well, yeah. So we're just, we've come over now to some cliffs, and we've got a view just over where the whale surfaced just now yeah. and it was amazing. It was really close to us and from where we were standing before it was quite far out so now we've come a bit further out it's yeah it surfaced right beneath us stayed on the surface for quite a long time you could see the pectoral fins under the water which was amazing. Yeah it was so white so it was making it easy to see for us. <laughs> yeah we could follow <laughs> under the water and because it's flat calm conditions it made it even easier but yeah, you can hear it's blowing everything but it's staying down for quite a while around yeah. 20 minutes i think we just timed so yeah <laughs> it's not coming up too much so we'll try and get as much as we can yeah <laughs> actually really cool because the humpback just surfaced above Nick and you can see Fula in the distance it was just below Fula it was just so amazing the sunlight keeps catching the blows as well so it looks really cool
we've actually also got a minke whale surfacing as well. So yeah, we've got two whales popping up now, a humpback and a minke whale. Not sure if the GoPro just caught that or not. Just as I turned it on, the minky whale surfaced again, just in there. Just as we're walking up. <laughs> yeah, that's really frustrating because it's perfect conditions, but we're having to leave the humpback whale, so we're getting the ferry tonight. So, yeah. <sighs> it's a it's shame. so hard to leave when there's <laughs> something here. So. Look, look how stunning it is as well at the moment. And according to the forecast, it might be a bit of a rough one, so, yes, I think so. <laughs> you can watch that next week and see how we got on with it. It's been, we don't know if it's been brought forward, but they're advising to check in a bit earlier so it can leave quite promptly, so. Yeah, because, because of the adverse weather conditions, particularly at Aberdeen, we might arrive there two to three <laughs> hours later. Yeah. So it means it's a long, it's a longer journey anyway. So it'll be a, an even longer journey. <laughs> yeah, it's normally on the Orkney crossing. It's about 14 hours, but I think it could be around 17 instead. But check so. out the video and see how we <laughs> yeah, got on. Yeah. And if we were sick, which we probably will be. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.